I just realized that um, the vlog that I have been filming doesn't have an introduction. <laughs> just I just started filming. Um, so hello and welcome to another vlog. I'm really enjoying filming a little bit more regularly again. So yeah, I thought I would pick up the camera. I think this vlog is going to be a day working from home with Rufus because he was off school. And then we've got Steph's birthday and then there is the market um, that we did for our art um, and homeware company, Grace and Ashes. We did a little market in Bath for that. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy watching and I'll just start the vlog now, I guess. <laughs> we just got a very exciting delivery. I'm so happy about this delivery. Steph and I have bought some sound bowls. So, I can learn how to play those. And I'm gonna offer them at the end of yoga classes, maybe as like a full session if you've got headphones in. We're gonna take them to my real life yoga classes. Very excited. Rufus is excited too, he's off school today. Just woken up. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. He's really not very well. You're pretty heavy, man. You did sleep all morning, didn't you? So, yeah, we're having a nice slow day. Uh, let's hope they're not smashed. Yeah. You can play one, yeah. Probably what that book goes underneath in my record. Oh, uh, okay. You should set them up where you're, where you're um, yeah. You want the bubble wrap? Yeah. Everyone's happy. Now I just have to learn how to play them. <laughs> I'm sure there's a YouTube tutorial somewhere. There's this guy. Oh, oh isn't that amazing? We should charge our neighbours to come for a sound bath. Maybe you have to activate them by hitting them first. Oh, that's so nice. so far actually um i don't know why i just felt like i was really in the zone and it just came together nicely so i'm pleased about that got little rubies relaxing on the chair there he asked to have some meditation music on so that's what we're listening to and then yeah gotta go and get grayson soon so yeah also um just about to finally launch my rest and restore package so i'm just checking through the site now but yeah i think it's gonna go up so much time went into this um so yeah i am excited to launch it we are about to go live with my rest and restore workshop i'm so nervous but i have a lot of faith in the product and i think it's really good value for money for what it is so are you ready should we remove yeah. the password Let's do it. Let's do it. Activate. Okay. My tech guy. It couldn't be possible without the tech guy. Ah. Thanks, tech guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to work out how to turn off the password now. Remove password. How do we do that? Okay, here we are. Take that off. Restrict access. Ah. Save. <laughs> Boom. You're now live. The site, the store is open to everyone. Yeah. Let's double check that. Here we go. We are live. All ready to go. There's my new little package. Rest and restore. I'm gonna put a link down below in case anyone wants to go check it out. Got my old package on there too, my um, at home yoga retreat. And you can also get to my live classes through here too. 
Cool. You We're can good. buy a gift card now as well, can't you? Yeah, man. We're good. Here we go. Hectic world. Steph's just written an article, um, which looks really good. So I'm going to link it as well down below in case you want to go and read something positive. <laughs> Let's spread some positivity in this crazy apocalyptic world that we live in. <laughs> Hello, hello. I am back. It's been such a busy afternoon. Um, launched my rest and restore package, so just taking care of a few like teething problems with that. There's always something when something like this, there's so much that goes into it, like uh, the back end, like digitally. So there's always a few teething problems, but hopefully we'll get all sorted out. I am just cooking up some dinner. We are having plant based winter squash and sage pastry pie and it is one that takes like 40 minutes which i'm so not up for tonight on my lack of sleep but um it looks really good so i'm excited to eat it like one of those really cozy heart like warming heart warming meals oh my god <laughs> who has a heart warming meal anyway Rue's not eating dinner with us tonight um which in a way is a good thing because I don't think he would probably like that. He'd probably just eat the pastry. Um, but yeah, he has been sick again, so he is probably not going to eat. And if he does, it will probably just be a piece of plain toast or something. So he'll be off school for sure tomorrow. Steph and I were supposed to go. It's his birthday this weekend and we were supposed to go. You're probably just going to be hearing fan right now. We were supposed to go to... Um, the soul spa in Bath for a like sound bath together as part of his birthday but we've had to swap it around because um obviously can't take Rufus so swap that around I think I'm just gonna start working on my next package tomorrow don't know why I'm telling you this now I think I'm delirious at this point also my kitchen is an absolute state because I've just been like working all day and taking care of Rufus so everything has just spiralled in here <laughs> I don't really know where I'm going with this <laughs> anyways show you uh, the pie after I've made the pie looks a bit gross now because I've already started eating it but this is the pie it's so good it's 8.30 p.m. I've just had a shower. Got my um, hot water bottle ready to make. And um, I'm just gonna make me and Steph a hot chocolate and we're literally gonna go to bed with a hot chocolate. George! We go to bed with a hot chocolate. And read for like half an hour and then go to bed because I'm so tired. Ruth went to sleep straight away, so I'm not sure if we're in for a bit of a rough night again but we'll see we'll see fingers crossed <laughs> pray for us anyway i'm gonna love you and leave you here and i will see you tomorrow morning good morning it's friday today and i'm whispering because rufus is still asleep it's about half past eight and um, we're not gonna send him to school again today because he's still not very well so he's gonna spend the day with me um, which I'm secretly happy about. Obviously, don't want him to be ill, but it'd be nice to have him around today. Yeah, we, Steph and I got up really early this morning. We got up at like five to just have our morning routines. And I actually did some work because I thought today I'm probably not gonna get as much done as I would have if it was just me and I didn't have Ruth home. So I did some work and, um, yeah, so I'm going to take the dogs for a walk when Steph gets back off the school run. We've got a kind of tag team if we need to go out today, obviously. Uh, so I'm going to take the dogs for their walk and then um, maybe cuddle up with Rue for a little bit. And then I am starting to sort out my next yoga package. It's one that I've been really excited to film for ages, but then I had a shoulder injury. So there were some other things that I couldn't do, so I had to wait. Hence why I created um, the Rest and Restore package because I could do all of those things and it was a really chilled out yoga 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to do yoga for your period cycle next, um, which is obviously something I'm very passionate about and a lot of people don't get why I talk about it so much, but yeah, I'm excited to do it. So I'm going to finalise those four flows today and um, write up a little bit of an intro, a little bit of an outro for a video and do some of the copy. So a lot of the stuff I can just do from the sofa anyway, so I think I'm just going to put like a nice little film on for Rufus um, and sit with him and just do some writing. Yeah, times like this I am very grateful for what I do as a job and being able to stay home. Oh my god, look, I was trying to get into the basket but she's doing it in a really weird way. Poor Georgie, why are you climbing on top of him? <laughs> You're so weird, Pip. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have a very, very sick boy. I gave him some squash and some cow pot and he vomited it straight away all over my joggers. Um, so put a load of washing on and um, got him changed, got him all comfy downstairs. Um, and we've watched a little bit of Winnie the Pooh together, which I hate, but you know, Rufus requested Winnie the Pooh. I feel like I'm the only person in the whole world who, um, who finds Winnie the Pooh really irritating. I always have. My sister thinks that I'm really weird because, I mean, who hates Winnie the Pooh? It's my dark side. Anyways, um, Steph's just sitting with Rue for um, a few minutes now so that I can take the dogs for their walk because um, if I don't walk them now, then they probably will start crying and they just really like to have that big morning walk. So I'm going to get that done. I'm just putting some sun cream on, by the way. This is the... Temple Spa, I think it is. You can see because it's not focusing. Temple Spa Life Defense um, SPF 30. And I bloody love this. It's so nice for underneath um, makeup. But the reason why I'm putting it on, because sometimes I forget, the reason why I'm putting it on is because I'm doing a trial for some laser hair removal on my face and. Um, she says that we've done the patch test and she says that um you have to wear sun cream every day like religiously um so that is why i'm doing it i will talk a more, bit more about that actually at some point but basically i've got polycystic ovaries and one of the symptoms is that you get more facial hair than you normally would um and so for years and years and years i felt really self-conscious about it and just had like a million different ways of removing it and i'm just like i've got to my like mid 30s and i'm like i just don't want to waste my time removing facial hair anymore so the girl that does my nails has just trained and got a machine in her salon so it seems like perfect timing um so she's given me a patch test and yeah i'm excited i think it's going to take about six months but I'm hoping it's going to be worth it in the end because, yeah, it's just one of those really horrible things. I know it's really shallow, but it just makes me feel uncomfortable sometimes. And, like, if we go on holiday, I'm always worried about it. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's go for a dog walk. It's a bit of a grey day today. But it's still nice to walk through this big field. They can't wait to go off their lead today. <laughs> Especially Pip, look at her, she's raring to go. Also, can we just talk about these uh, tracksuit bottoms that I've had since I was 19? <laughs> Still going strong. I love this walk. I always really want that house. <laughs> Such a nice house. I look so weird again. I always wear the weirdest things on my dog walk. I'm, I have this oversized hoodie on, but like stuffed underneath a jacket. <laughs> and then my like teenage jogging bottoms from when I was 19 and some wellies. I look really weird. <laughs>
Good doggies. Good doggies. I know you don't like it when I dry your paws, George. Good boy. Pips, you're such a saint. <laughs> They've gone straight to the treat cupboard. First load of washing is done. I think two times puke sheets in there. Pips is still hopeful that she's gonna get a treat. <laughs> God. Second load of puke laundry for the day. I'm gonna go hang this upstairs and um, brush my teeth because I've just realized that I haven't actually brushed my teeth yet today, which is gross. Before I settle down in the lounge with Rue, I am going to make a little mushroom tea. It's this one, which I was very kindly sent to try out um, for focus. Um, and I had this the other day, it's actually really nice. It's basically just like a little spicy hot chocolate, I really like it. Um, but it's supposed to support mental activity and cognitive performance. So I thought that's a good thing to have whilst I am uh, writing out um, like a script for the intro and the outro of my next package and some of the copy for the package. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have that. Rufus is watching, what's he watching now? Uh, Blue's Clues, so I'm just gonna curl up next to him and do some writing. Do you manage to drink some of your water? Yeah? Good boy. Rufy has chosen Moana next. I'm really happy about this because I bloody love Moana. The songs are amazing. We've seen it so many times, but it's probably one of my favourite recent Disney films. I feel so bad for him. But I am getting lots of writing done. Um, and it's good that we can still kind of sit together and I'm still present with him. Um, anyway, I'm gonna crack. Also, whenever I watch the beginning of Moana, this bit where they talk about like how they live and where they live, I'm like, I wanna live there. <laughs> I have just made a little bit of lunch. Just for myself, Steph is fasting and Rufus has just managed to have a little bit of plain toast actually, so that's good. I've just made a little basic bitch tuna cucumber sandwich. So I'm gonna have that and probably an orange. This <laughs> is like a kid's pet lunch basically. Yeah, I'm gonna have that and an orange. And then I think I might finally try this stuff. Um, I don't have all the ingredients for the smoothie though because I refuse to pay four pounds 50 for coconut water. It's just ridiculous. So I think I'm just gonna have it with water. Yeah, it says water or juice or in a smoothie. I could put it in with a banana actually and I have some have some oat milk, so I'll try that. Let's try that. Um, it's the active super greens. I feel like it would be a good day to do active super greens to um, ward off whatever sick bug Rufus has. Um, but he seems to be kind of fluctuating from kind of feeling a little bit better and then just feeling like a bit rubbish again. So yeah, definitely succumbing to the sofa day today. I've stolen Steph's jumper. <laughs> seems to be the story of my life that I just seem to steal all of his stuff all the time. If I was him, I'd get really annoyed. <laughs> just making a little toasty for Rue. Hoping that he might be all right. I've put the tiniest, tiniest bit of cheese in there. So it's basically just white bread. Um, 
but hopefully it doesn't upset his tummy. I've got another load of laundry to clean out and um, I'm gonna make this in a smoothie, I think. Um, let's see how much it's meant to have. One heaped teaspoon. Okay, let's give it a go. So I'm gonna put frozen banana in the blender. Teaspoon of this, free soil greens. It was a very heaped teaspoon. <laughs> free soul bottle to use as well. So I'm gonna use that. Oat milk for this. And I think I'm just gonna put a little squeeze of honey in just to sweeten it up. Smells really good. Mmm, it's actually really nice. Mmm, I'm well impressed with that. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was gonna be gross, but it's actually really good. We're on Scooby Doo and the cheese toasty with a sick bowl next to you. And then I'm gonna start typing up some of my um, course. Steph's just gone to pick up Grayson from school and take him for a haircut. So I'm gonna wrap his birthday present uh, with Rue and I'm gonna get Rue to, hopefully gonna get Rue to decorate the wrapping paper. We've kept it really simple this year. Um, and he's just asked for these, which I'm very jealous about because I love them and I really wanted them for ages. But yeah. So we just got him a pair of those. And I think, depending on whether Rue feels up to it tomorrow, we're gonna go to a National Trust for a picnic. Um, and then I'm gonna cook some burgers in the evening. Yeah, blurt some balloons in a minute. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that'll be it. Ruby's playing a game, he's perked up. I'm wrapping Steph's present. Got uh, another episode of Big Little Lies on. Um, just got it in the background. Oh, I bloody love it. I'm watching it for the second time. I never do that. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. Rufus is going to do 42 kisses Eight. in Daddy's card. Because he's 42. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Here we go. Hide it under your desk. I will. I'm going to hide it there, I think. Oops. <laughs> That's Earth. Carry it up I... Grayson is home. Oh, I'm going to be a Fortnite streamer on YouTube. <laughs> Grayson wants to start his own YouTube channel. He wants to be a gamer. So Steph's going to help him set up a little channel to do some... Uh... You know how to do it though, right? You have to like talk yeah, through what tons you're doing. Yeah, I've watched YouTubers. So do a little practice now. What? what? Practice, like narrate what you're doing. I'm playing Fortnite. Yeah, but you have to be like, I'm oh, shooting this. Aimbot, person. bro! Aimbot! Oh my god, he has aimbot! You don't know what aimbot is. It's like a foreign language, no, I don't know what aimbot is. Aimbot! Oh my god! Bro. I know he's what got aimbot, aimbot mum! Right. Mum! Yeah? Mum, he's got aimbot! What is that? Oh, you know. What is that? It's where he, he, he hacks. What does that mean? Mm. <sighs> Yeah. You don't know anything. Yeah, <laughs> even even Rufus knows what aimbot is. Steph is cooking tonight. Kids have had pasta. Rufus actually managed to eat some and keep it down, so that's good. That bodes well for the night. What is that noise? Eat, no. Why do I want to see that? Who's that? 
Justin Bieber and his, his girlfriend. Why are we watching this? Because I can't believe they're doing this. Why are you following Justin Bieber? <laughs> I'm not following him, he just came up. Um, anyway, Dad has cooked food. Well, I say cooked, he has heated up some microwave meals for us because it's Friday and we don't cook on Friday. So I've got a vegetable korma. What have you got? Uh, chicken corn, chicken corn, veg, uh, uh, roasted chickpeas and curry you've got there. That's and a vegetable me. korma and a chicken tikka masala. Mm. Parent life. So I mean, you have two young boys that won't go to sleep. I'll sit in the hallway. Mediate. What are you doing? Writing Getting some work novel. done. Yeah. Writing a novel. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Come in to give you some cowpole, mister. Kiddies are in bed. I think we're going to sign off here. Um, Steph and I are just going to watch some of The Ring of Power. And we have some apple... Is it apple pie? Yeah. Apple pudding? Some kind of apple pudding. Um, which makes me love him a little bit more <laughs> because he bought me pudding. Um, but yeah, this is our Friday night. UK torture a Vietnam a Vietnam documentary. No thanks. This is one for your uh, insomnia night, I think. Come on. I want on. to watch something light-hearted. I don't want to watch. It's Friday night. I don't want to watch a Vietnam documentary. <laughs> know your audience. <laughs> Anyways. And a sign off here that um, we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Night night. Okay. Oh man, look at that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to daddy. Happy birthday to you. Look at these donuts and cookies that um, our management sent Steph for his birthday. They look insane. You don't want to eat them, do you? No, I'm so I'm happy that I have them, but at the same time, I'm like my metabolism is basically like pouring <laughs> itself along on the ground. Steph wants to make a video um, for our Patreons, and it's his birthday, so I am going to go do it with him. We're still going to be in the house, we're just going to be upstairs. Yeah, but who in the castle wax? We'll just be upstairs. downstairs. Makeup time. Just done my hair and makeup. I so can't be bothered to get dressed. I'm wearing Steph's jumper again. I basically just live in his clothes because men's clothes are comfier. I'm bigger and slouchy and just like, yeah, nice. Um, but yeah, boys are just painting and watching some cartoons. We're having such a chill morning, it's so nice. Um, it's weird because like, before lockdown, I was one of those people who I had to know what we were doing every weekend. Like I had to have our Saturday, not filled, but like I'd want to know if we were going for a walk, where were we going to go, if we were seeing friends, like what was the exact plan. And I'd always like to have like at least one thing planned every week. Um, and then since lockdown, I'm like the opposite. I love these kind of days where there's nothing planned and everyone just seems to be really relaxed. And we're all in the house just like being together, but doing our own thing. Um, and there's just no pressure and everyone just seems happy and chilled. Um, so when those days kind of come around, it's just really nice. Gonna find some clothes to wear now, and Steph wants me to film a video with him, so gonna do that. Does anyone else feel like they have loads of clothes, but like nothing they wanna wear? <laughs> That's me, like on a daily basis, basically. I just wanna stay in my same thing I was wearing yesterday, My 19 year old jogging bottoms and Steph's jumper. I got dressed into real clothes. Oh no, I've just realized I've been filming on the wrong setting the whole time. Just got dressed into real clothes. For the first time in about a week, I hate wearing jeans now. <laughs> and actually the last time I wore these jeans, um, 
we were at the beach and I just realized that I forgot to wash them and I got them wet in the sea and there's sand in that little folder. <laughs> so cute, huh? Hey, birthday bitch. Thank you. Oh my God, what is this setup about? Set Wowzers. It's better, isn't it? I mean, why is the table there? It makes it more kind of formal. Is that the table for our market tomorrow? Yeah, but I thought we might as well make ah. use of it and use it for a new kind of... Yeah, we could do our podcast yeah, from exactly. there. Oh my God, I was just chopping up some onions for our dinner. And I've never had such a strong onion experience in my life. I couldn't see. <laughs> there was water streaming out of my eyes. Um, yeah, that was intense. I think next time I'm gonna get some like glasses or some goggles or something because the gusto onions are strong. Um, got a wash on. Just preheating the oven for dins. We kind of ended up like skipping lunch because we went for a walk, so we're having an early dinner. Steph is busy just bringing down some of the stock from our bathroom. You may have seen, that's where we keep our stock if you watched my most recent videos. So this is what our hallway currently looks like. <sighs> I'm not sure how we're gonna fit it all in the car. I think we're gonna have to do a couple of trips and then I'll probably cycle down to the market with the kids on the back of my bike because I don't think we'll be able to fit in the car and then I think I'm gonna have to ask our neighbours to take care of the dogs because I don't think that they're the kind of dogs that would enjoy market life especially Pip because everyone always wants to stroke her and she just doesn't really enjoy strangers <laughs> she'll tolerate it for a bit and then she's like she just looks at me like help me so yeah i think they'll be more comfortable if we leave them with our neighbors who love them so anyways i'm gonna get uh cooking we're having um we're gonna have burgers but now i am making extra special bangers and mash because it's Steph's birthday, I ordered some meat this week, which I don't normally do anymore because I am um, trying to eat mostly vegetarian now, or pescatarian. Um, and I'm trying to get to like the vegetarian and then hopefully eventually the, the vegan. But it's hard when you live in a house full of young children and meat eaters. Dinner is ready. We have just finished our dinner. And um, I think I might end the video here for today. Um, just because I just got to hang out laundry and um, put the kiddos to bed. Grayson's having a massive tantrum about the Xbox. Um, it's really hard actually to manage this. And I know everyone's kind of Parenting opinions are different when it comes to um, video games and technology and stuff. And we tend to have a rule of like half an hour on the Xbox a day and that's it. And he has to do certain things before he's allowed to do that. Sometimes we're more lenient and we'll let him have a little bit of extra time. Um, but yeah, I'm just finding that at the moment it, it's causing a lot of drama and tantrums and yeah just dealing with that right now so um i don't know it's just one of those things i just think god when's parenting gonna get easier <laughs> it just it i always thought like as they get older maybe it'll get easier but it doesn't it just changes and you have like a whole new set of challenges um and it's weird it's like times like that that i really miss having my mum around because I don't have this person, like obviously we have Steph's mum and I'm really close to her, but like I just wish I had my mum to call up and, and say, look, this is happening. What do you think I should do? Because a lot of the time I'm like, I just put my hands up. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I never say that to him, but like, just feel like I'm making it up as I go along sometimes. Um, yeah, and it's just really hard sometimes. So anyway, that's my little rant over. I just realized I, forgot to take my Saturday vitamins. The main one that I want to take actually is the hair vitamin. 
but it's hair and energy so i'm like mm, do i take that now because i'm gonna start winding down we light the fire and um this no, evening not the fire again. no so i think this evening um steph and i will probably just light the fire have a hot chocolate try and find something not to watch the fire again. or maybe read um and then i'm gonna get up super early tomorrow i'm gonna get up at six on a sunday i'm like who am i because i want to do some yoga before the day gets started because we've got a busy day tomorrow the market prep starts at 8 a.m um so we want to get all our stock down there kids fed and dressed um dogs taken care of etc and then as soon as the market finishes i am teaching a restorative yoga class um in cooler yoga which is one of the studios that i teach at Feel like i'm gonna need to be going to one not teaching one but um but there we are i'm excited to hopefully meet some of our like viewers and um hopefully we'll see some of our friends down there and stuff it's the bath half marathon tomorrow so i have no idea if the market's actually going to be busy because i think some of the roads are closed off and um obviously people are going to be watching their friends and family do the marathon so we've picked a bit of a funny day to do the first market but I think we're going to be doing the November and December market too, in case anyone um, doesn't make this one and you want to come and check the market out or come and say hello, then I think we'll be doing those ones as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, for now, I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you 6am. You can say something. What do you want to say? And as usual, we don't... Let my brother play Fortnite. <laughs> You've got because a... it's called Fortnite. You've got a runny nose. I don't care if I've got a runny nose. Are you feeling? Bye any... bye. This <laughs> video's ended. Good morning. It is seven a.m. I've just done an hour's worth of yoga practice. I felt like I wanted to get up early this morning just so that I had like an hour to myself because it's quite a busy day today. We've got a mark, we're doing our market um, and then I'm going straight off to teach a yoga class and then I think I'm just gonna wanna go to bed after that. So thought I'd get up early and get it done. So made it a nice little practice, set the tone with some candles. I'm just gonna do my journal. Got my little five minute journal and then I might lie down with a face mask for five minutes too. Um, just because, you know, it's a bit weird to do a face mask in the morning, isn't it? But I feel like I want to. <laughs> I got this one the other day from a little shop near me. Um, it's an anti-aging, revitalising face mask. Um, I've never used anything from this brand before. Uh, leave on for 20 to 30 minutes and then you leave the lotion on your skin. Yeah. Give it a go. Steph is already down at the market. The boys and I were just uh, walking the dogs um, and giving the keys to our next door neighbours so that they can come in um, in a couple hours and let them out for a wee, um, maybe take them for a walk. Um, just picking up some painkillers for Steph because he has popped his Achilles, which there's no telling him. <laughs> he won't rest it properly, so. I don't know how bad it's going to be this time, but hopefully it's not that bad. Yeah, got a flask of tea, got a flask of water, got my lip balm. I think we're good to go. Let's go do it. Here we are. It's been busy. Grace has made about 20 pounds or something. 20. I think it's 24 or made 5. lots of money drawing people. I am going to quickly go and grab us a pizza now um, because we're all starving. So yeah, keep on support from it. Good morning. It's Monday morning and Steph has just taken the kids um, on the bikes down to school. I am um, just cleaning up the house a bit. I say a bit, but I'm having a big mouth and clean just because I want to start the week off with a clean house because it freaks me out when it's like super, super dirty and messy and it just has been this weekend. But yes, the market was fun and then I went to go teach a yoga class straight after that. So I was just exhausted um, and it was a really busy class as well. So 
which is good, but I just felt like for somebody who spends most days at home alone in an office, it was a lot, a lot of people, <laughs> um, which is lovely, but yeah, very tiring. So yes, so having a quiet morning, cleaning up the house, walking the dogs, sorting out food shopping. Got Steph's mum coming tonight um, because Steph and I have to go work in London tomorrow. So she's coming to take care of the boys for us while we're there. And yeah, so I just want to get her room sorted for her. And yeah, it's just a bit of a like houseworky, errandy type day. And I need to put up my new yoga class for the week as well. Um, so I might sign this vlog off here just because I feel like, um, although I know people love to watch other people clean their houses, my house is shamefully dirty. And also, I think, um, I don't know, I just feel like it takes so much longer trying to get nice shots of me cleaning a house takes longer and I just want to blitz it. So, I'm gonna sign this vlog off here. I hope you all really enjoyed another, boring <laughs> day in the life type video um, but thank you all so much for all your amazing comments and all your support um, it's so nice to know that the content that I'm making and that I enjoy making um, some of you are enjoying and just finding comfort in like the everyday stuff and I think that's like just a really nice message to send out that like the everyday stuff we can find comfort in, particularly in like everything that's happening globally right now. It's, I don't know, sometimes I feel like just bringing everything, reining everything back in and just trying to bring joy into the simple things is like just really important, isn't it? So I'm gonna enjoy cleaning my house. I'm gonna try and use it as like a little bit of a therapy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave you, love you and leave you here and I'll see you next time, bye.